We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Lord, thank you. Lord, Oh Lord, oh Lord, Almighty God, by the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, may our hearts be enlightened. May we receive the understanding of a man. May we not harm others with the realization of a beast. What we've learnt with our head, what we've experienced with our head, may we not live by those demons, those evil spirits, but with the love that you put in our heart, may we live as a man. May we pass blessings down to a thousand generations. And as a blessed man, may our surroundings become better. May we live according to your word only so that a thousand generations do well. In Jesus' name we thank you and bless. Amen. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17. Let's find that. What generation do you live in? Are you living in a generation where people are ruined? The mystery of God is to live in a generation of becoming a blessed man. Why do you keep going after those curses? Why is it that you can't smile? Because if you, if you have demons inside of you, you can't smile. What is faith? Faith is to obey. Faith is to smile. It's to have all joy, all peace. They're not my words. Romans chapter 5, 15, verse 13. But a dog pig has a lot of human affection. Human affection is not love. It kills themselves and it kills others. It's so filthy. Love, there is only God who is love. Human affection which is in your head, that's not love. So a dog, they just wag their tails at anyone. So dog pig love, that is human affection. That's not the love of a man. Let's read Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. Amen. So if you love, he says that he will give you unlimited money. So here it clearly says, as much as you love him, he will love you. So if you don't come at dawn service, how can you be loving God? If you scorn this time at dawn, how can you say that you love God? So if you love God, the, your blessings are in front of you. If you have to go and borrow money, then you are evil. As much as you love God, as much as, as much as you have, that's how much you've loved God. So if you have to borrow money from the bank, then soon you will be ruined. So God says, as much as you love him, he will give to you. So if you love him, he will give you money, which solves 10,000 things on this earth. So let's read verse 21. So as much as you love God, you will receive love. And as much as you love him, he will give you money. So whether it be work, all these worthy people, it's because of their money. So when you get to a certain age, he kills you. 
and he kills you in a filthy way. So if you don't love him, you're a fake, you won't do well. So why is it that a country is being ruined? Which country in this world is it good to live in? You know, for many, many years we've been um, giving rice and flour to Africa, but still, they're cursed, still, they're beggars. Even though they have all those resources, still they're receiving these handouts. So if you don't love God, you will be ruined. If you scorn God's word, you will surely be ruined. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. So why is it that you're ruined? You've come here to do well. You, if you're ruined, you want to do well. You don't want to have disasters. If you're doing well, to do more well. But how many disasters are there? And that's because of the, the price of sin. It's the price of your ancestors' sins. That's why we're dead. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. It's because of our ancestors' sins that we're not men and we're like dog pigs. But you don't repent of your ancestors' sins and you seek freedom of religion. A country that seeks freedom of religion, you see if they do well. In our country, people who seek freedom of religion, you see if they don't have some filthy disease, but they cannot realize. If you realize with your head, you're a dog pig. By the mystery of God, it's when the mystery of Christ, that's when it shines in your heart, that's when you have a man's realization. We have to become a man. You really don't know how to discern your own self. Let's read verse 21. So money problems solves all problems. That's why before he created us, he created all of creation. If you find the image of God, then he will give you mon money unlimitedly. So it happens according to God's word. Someone like me, if it works for me, why is it that you don't do well? So you don't love God as much as you love God. Those people who come from Seoul, their ancestors were wealthy. So they had to go around, even on their own land, they had to ride on horseback to get. So when you're riding on the train, everything you see is for you to repent. Why is it that you have to come to Busan from Seoul or from overseas? Because your ancestors, their sins have reached that far. So. There's no disadvantage with God. If you are coming from far away, it's because your ancestors lived really well. But what happens? After three and four generations, your family line is cut off. So if you commit evil after three generations, then that seed disappears. So if you believe in anything other than God, that's a sin. John chapter 16, verse 9. So other than someone of faith, so if you have faith, then you see someone else with faith because it's like with like. So if it's not someone who has faith, then don't trust them. You need to doubt them. But you just, tr you just trust anyone. Then you say, I've been embezzled. And you say, this, this dog talk, does it say to trust in man or not? So, you're not to trust in man, you have to doubt them. Oh, there's a thief who's come next to me. You should doubt them. But you don't doubt them, and then you're, and then you're cheated and embezzled. At our church, when I see our saints of our church, when I listen to what they say, if they love money, then they are evil. That person is truly evil. If they're doing something because of money or fame, that person is evil. Jesus, uh, sorry, Joseph, he didn't do what he did because of money, and that's why he succeed, succeeded. Even though for 13 years he was a slave, he did it to the point of death so that he became the head of the slaves. So because Jesus, he, he obeyed, that's why he was able to do all things. So the commandment is to give up our heart and to give up our lives. But people who don't receive money blessings, they don't give up their lives. 
they don't even give up their money because they're so crazy about money. It's because of money that you go to prison. If God says no, then it's finished. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 20. It's according to your sins and your ancestors' sins. That's why society is so stratified. More and more because of sin, people are more evil. If you become a blessed man, then this, this big difference in, in society will end. But people still seek freedom of religion. If you are a child of God, then you give up your life for God, and so you receive the blessings in front of you and can share them with others. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 21. It's as much as we love God that we will receive this blessing, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. Amen. So you can't love God of your own accord. Some people say, oh, that person has so much love. That's a demon. Someone who has a lot of human affection, that's a dog pig. That's why Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25. Someone who is a dog pig has a lot of human affection. But behind that, there is so much greed. And who is that person? That person is lazy. You know, you look at the way that they work. Someone who ruins themselves ruins everyone else. So, this, these lusts, they seem as if they have so much love and so much affection, but that person is evil. So, in the world, what is love? They kill themselves and they kill everyone around them. That are these lusts that have human affection. That If you do things with your head, that's a dog pig. It is evil, and that's why James chapter 3, verse 15 to 16, they have all demons and all evil. People who live according to their head, their experience, um, according to the world. So all thoughts, all theories, people who live like that, who study a lot, who... You know, they have stolen so much, but what are they left with? If God says no, then it's over. You know, you look at those people who were ruined in your relatives. They buy 10 houses and in the end they have none. It seems like they're doing the right thing. They calculate so much and it seems like they'll do a better job than anyone else. God says that worldly love of the head from the head it kills themselves and their descendants and that's why their descendants they don't listen you look at the people the young people who cause society's problems all their parents are in high places if you go out at two o'clock three o'clock and you go to you go to the police station all these children of people in high places and yet there's a phone call and they all they all uh, disappear so I've seen a lot of this when I was working in the government with the young people Who is it that causes society's problems? These parents who seek freedom of religion, who kill three and four generations, they make their children like that. I don't know what it's like these days because the government is run well and is clean, but before there'd be a phone call and, and they all disappear from the cells. And then they go out and they get drunk and they do it again. So because, and, and because they keep doing that, God lets them live, then he puts them in a car accident and they die. That's what disasters are. Disasters follow sin, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21. So what is the way to block this? It's to love God. Let's read verse 21 again. So we have to receive this money as much as we love God to solve our problems, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I, I may fill their treasuries. Amen. So as much as you love God, 
and you receive money and then you end up borrow instead of going that way if you borrow other people's money you use other people then that person they ruin three and four generations you should pierce that person if you gossip with that person 100% you'll be ruined seems like you're going to do well but you won't so if you can't even say amen how much are you killing your own children it's not others but it's you it's because of your ancestors' sins and your sins. If you can't even say amen, you're sitting there, and then you say, oh, my children aren't doing well. Well, it's because you're eating them up. If you go inside of Christ, you become a blessed man. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. If you become a blessed man, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, inside of Christ, you say amen. If you can't say amen, who do you kill? You kill yourself and you eat up your children. And then you say that you're not doing well. How can you say that? You haven't loved God. So if you do love Him, then He gives you everything as well as money. You know, some people talk about how how big their salary is. But if you love God, let's find 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. This is what God has prepared and what He will give. So that's why we're here, to receive this blessing, not, not, to, look, not to compare, you know, salaries. You know, what's so great about those few dollars? So those people who do forced their repentance properly, you know, they say, my business, the money that I have barely covers my expenses, yet at the end of the month, I've got money left over. People who do forced their repentance properly, they speak these testimonies. If they say, I don't know if someone's putting money in my pocket as I sleep. You know, when I calculate, every day it seems like I'm disadvantaged, but every day I've got left over. So people who do things by their strength, they may, you know, they earn as much as they can, but in the end, they're ruined. They're the people who don't love God. It's always their thoughts, their theories. Those thoughts and theories, they have a lot of grumblings and complainings. They don't have any thanksgiving. You look at people who are cursed, they always are grumbling and complaining. They even grumble against the government or America. So, out of the countries, America is one of the countries that receives the most blessings. So, instead of grumbling, we should learn from the example and go away that we can do better. If you're not even a man, how can you be a leader? If you're not even a man, how can you expect your children to do well? God says you have to be living in order for Him to help you. If you're not living, He won't help you. Mark chapter 12, verse 27. So how can you be calling God? God says, as much as you love Him, He will give to you. So, that love will give you money blessings. So if you love God, this is what He's prepared. Verse 9. But just as it is written, things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love Him. Amen. If you have an inheritance and act as if you've got something, soon... They end up beggars. You can see the way of how they end up as a beggar. And they always go that way. So what is God saying? The blessings that He has prepared, as long as you love Him, He will give to you if you love Him. That is the love of a man. And as much as you love, He has prepared all things. So even things that you haven't imagined He will give to you, but because you can't say Amen, you say, I will be cursed. I don't want that. I, I want to curse others. So what is love? As much as you love, you receive. So what kind of love is this? Let's find Romans chapter 13, verse 10. 
So it's not to it's not to say bad things about other people. If you slander others, these the fake churches, then it's the death penalty for you and your children. How can you call that love? Why does God say love is is supreme? One is the greatest. One Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse thirteen. It's not me who can love. In verse seventeen, it said. As much as we love God, He loves us. But you say, oh, I'm too tired to come to dawn service. Or if you're given some work at church. If, if you look at the work that's done at church, you'll say, someone crazy has done this. You know, even something like some goods, this is what they do. All they've done is just put lines on it. And the dust is there, is still sitting there. So I haven't asked anyone to do it. I'm just leaving it there. It's so pitiful. All you've done is ruin it and you haven't even cleaned it. Where have you learned such things? And if you ask that person to repent, they'll say they have nothing to repent of. Romans chapter 13 verse 10. Let's find out what love is. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. So love is not to do evil. So if you love money, that is 10,000 evils. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. So if you love money and you say you're doing something for your neighbor, that's evil. That's not loving your neighbor. So if you don't love your neighbor, you always are uh, speaking evil against them. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 24. It says you have to give profit to others, not help others. What's the difference between giving profit and helping? If you say, I'm helping, you're doing that by my thoughts. If you help by my thoughts, that other person is actually suffering. You think you're helping, but the other person, they're suffering. So you keep giving someone flour, that person will end up getting a disease. Why? Because to that person, it's bad for their health. But giving profit is not just to give flour. If you want to give profit, you have to know that person in order to give profit. Oh, that person is someone that shouldn't be having flour. That person, what they need to eat, you need to know. So if you have to give profit to someone, God's word is saying you have to know that person. So if you just automatically help, that's an evil person. So in the church, people who go around helping, you know, giving away things, they, they're ev they've harmed. So if you hadn't learnt these harmful things, you look at school teachers. You know, Edison, his teacher said, oh, this child is useless. And Einstein's the same. The teacher said, this child is useless because the teacher's eyes are dog's eyes. God says, anyone, any time, anywhere can do well. That's why we're here, to receive this blessing. Who says you can't do well? Demons? So is that right? Dog pigs, what they say? Why focus on that? So anyone, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, anyone can do well inside of Christ. Anyone can become a leader. So God gives us hope. Why are you discouraged? Why do you listen to the demons and what the world says? God says, surely, do you know what love is? It's not to do evil to your neighbor. But what about churches these days? Christ is the ch is the church's head and the the church's body. Ephesians chapter one. So how can churches curse others and slander and call other people heretics? If you're 
doing evil. How can that be love? So the Holy Spirit love those who make denominations and factions will not be given the Holy Spirit. Jude chapter 1 verse 19. So how can that be in love? So we went to places like that. How much have you repented about it? If you made your clothes dirty, how much have you washed those clothes? Love is not to do harm to others. But what do denominations do? If someone's not the same as them, then they call them heretics. Even though they're being taught God's word, correct words, they don't listen. So how can that be love? So if you, the more you go to church, the more you become a beggar, the more your children become problematic. That's the way they end. That's the reality. So does that mean we should just give up on church and just seek freedom of religion? No, we've come here to live. Not just me, but for a thousand generations to do well. And we've come so that we can be patriots to our country. This is the only way to live. So this love is not to do evil to our neighbor, and it's to only do good. So. How can I make this love mine? Let's find Romans chapter 8, verse 28. So this is what love is. As much as we love God, we receive love. So if you're not doing well, you haven't loved. What is it that you want? According to God's word, there's nothing you want but evil, which is money. If you have money, then you seek fame. If you have money and fame without becoming a man, that is the worst of disasters. Even those around you will be destroyed. That's Proverbs chapter 24, verse 1. So what is it that we have to do? We have to love God. So if you love God, he'll give you all money, and you won't do evil to your neighbor. So you do things that people hate, and yet, who, who is it that moves people's hearts. It's God. 2 Kings chapter 6. So, in this siege, God changed their hearts. So, it's God who controls over people's hearts. So, Almighty God is speaking, and yet you scorn it. That's why you're ruined. Which countries? president or prime minister receives praise. Some people say America. So other than someone with a good faith, there's no one who receives praise because they're all evil. They've done things with a double mind. They've, they, they're a beast that pretends to have love, but they only have their human affection. So God is not deceived. So in the end, he gives the, the just Judgment, that is Micah chapter 6, verse 8. So even now, he brings about his just judgment. How do you want to die? How do you want your children to end up? If you have love, everything does well, because you don't do evil to your neighbor. And that's why love is the greatest. Love is the basis of the church. God is love, and yet, No matter how confused this world is, no matter how much they seek freedom of religion and live however they please, in the end it happens according to the word. So all we have to do is love God, then we will not harm our neighbor. You know, if you don't harm your neighbor, why would you harm your spouse? Then why is your spouse relationship bad? If your spouse relationship is bad, not only don't you have the worth to become a leader, but you're not even a man. God says you cannot divide what he has joined. So if your children are being divorced, what, what are the parents' hearts like? Their hearts are, are ripped into pieces. God says he loves us more than our parents, so his heart's his heart hurts even more. So to not become a society like this, you know, how bad must it be that you have to be divorced? It's because you seek freedom of religion. If you come to love, then these things, they, they won't be. So 
I'm a witness because I used to think I had the heart of I wish you died early so that I could get a new wife. But after realizing the mystery of God, I realized you know, she, my wife is so good. Before, I used to think she was a problem and I'm the problem. But after realizing this mystery, I realized it's me that's the problem. So there is no one who's an enemy. If you have an enemy, you don't have faith. You're a fake. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 to 45. So if you don't have an enemy, why would you need to slander or condemn? Why would you harm others? Because what you plan, you and your descendants have to get back. So if you don't believe God, that's a sin. And this sin brings about disasters. John chapter 16, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21. So three and four generations will be ruined. Why would God say this? So if we love God, we'll fix our destiny. We will receive blessings and do well. That's why he says these scary things. But yet you still scorn God's work and seek freedom of religion. You know me when I stand here in front of you? You know, I have so many bad things, yet which other religious leader has performed all of these miraculous things? But even now, I'm so busy repenting of my sins. So how can we seek freedom of religion? If you do not believe God, it is all sin. And where there is sin, disasters follow. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21. So those countries that persecute the gospel, if you persecute God, you become beggars. We've seen that in history. You know, how can you scorn God's word? Okay, so let's. this is the conclusion we need to keep in our hearts. We have to love God. So what is the way to love God? Let's read Proverbs chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. So what is loving God? It's to be called according to his purpose. It's to be clothed by this calling. It's not just to hear it, but to wear those clothes and to be called. That's... Let's find Galatians chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. So what are we called by? What is being called according to his purpose? There is nothing but four-step repentance. So without four-step repentance, there is no gospel. And yet these churches without the mystery of God, without the mystery of Christ, they call them churches. They don't, they don't even have the gospel. Outside of Christ, there is no gospel. So they call these fake churches a church and, and, and the gospel. So I'm going to say something difficult, but what is a man? If you're a dog pig, you don't understand. If you study the law of Jehovah, you're a man. If you just study the Bible, then you're a dog pig. You're not a man. In the Bible, you're considered crazy. You're a dog pig. So someone who's, a dog, someone who's crazy says crazy things. So there are these crazy theologians who study the Bible. So if you want to know Jehovah, you have to become a man of understanding. But these demons who don't understand, it's so pitiful. And then you expect to go to heaven. The true pastor that God acknowledges, who knows Jehovah, if you don't hear that sermon, you'll be disadvantaged and you will go to hell. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. So if you go to a fake church and you do those things that bring about curses, you eat up your children and then you say, but I'm a pastor, I'm, a, I'm an elder. 
When will God acknowledge you for that? Jehovah only knows the man of understanding. So the man of understanding who studies the law of Jehovah, he speaks the words of a man. Otherwise, you speak the words of a crazy person, dog pigs. So I've told you that this is a difficult word, but you scorn this, and so you bring about disasters upon you and your children. How can you expect to do well? If you don't listen to the sermon of the man of wisdom, the man of understanding, you can't go to heaven. So because of this small greed, you make denominations and you scorn the true wisdom. So 100% you'll go to hell, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1. So denominations, 100% will go to hell, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 1. So when you attend a church, those churches, you tormented God and you don't even repent and you sit there brazenly and expect to do well. And that's why you have those demons and you do those strange things. If Where there is sin, there are demons. Luke chapter 4, these filthy demons. Not just one or two, but to have a whole legion tens of thousands. You know, when I went to revival, I said to the parents, to the to the pastor, I said, I'm going to cast out these demons. Count them. It was, it was for a high school student. So after laying hands, there were thousands. So because we couldn't do that continuously, we just had to stop and we, we just had to repent. So as long as there's sin, there are demons. Even though you're given these good words, you don't understand. So how can you expect to do it? You, well, you just sit there with your greed, with your heart of a thief, as a demon. That's why you, and down to your grandchildren, you know, in the afternoon, I'm going to have to talk about this. You know, you, seeking freedom of religion I've been to all of these religions. You know, I did crazy things. It doesn't work. You should go the right way. So, we have to love God to receive love. And as much as you receive that love, you become a man. So, he says he will give you money. All your problems will be solved. So, how do we love? God's love is to be called according to his purpose. Isn't this our men? So what is being called by his purpose? It's four-step repentance. So who came to fulfill God's will? Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7, it was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to fulfill his will. Jesus is the word. He is the flesh the the bread and Christ is forgiveness resurrection four step repentance but you don't even understand this and you kill yourself and your children and all you have are excuses and schemings and you're a demon that can't even say amen as soon as you stop saying amen you kill yourself and your children And all you do is think of how you can steal money from others. But stupid people, you know, if you, you know, and you end up buying things for others and lending money, because you're the same, that's why you're deceived. If you don't repent, then you become a victim because that's what your ancestors did to others. So you have to see. You don't even know how to pierce these people who come to you that do those things. You look at a fake pastor and you just leave them alone. If you want to die, if you want to eat up your children, God, he doesn't kill you quickly. Those people who have these filthy, demon, uh, filthy diseases and suffer for a long time, and then they pass them down to their children. Why is it that you go that way? 
from today, if you love God, it will end. What is loving God? It's to be called according to His purpose. You have to wear this. So, fakes, they don't know what God calls you by. He calls you by the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ. Galatians chapter 1, verse 6, 7, 8, let's read it. I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, which is really not another. Only there are some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. Amen. So verse 6, what are we called by? By the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, four-step repentance. So it's someone who puts on this calling, that is loving God. Who is it that loves God? Someone who puts on this calling according to his person, purpose. So what does he call us by? By four-step repentance. So as much as we do four-step repentance, that is love. So a church that doesn't do four-step repentance, all they do is slander others and call, condemn others as heretics. So James chapter 4, verse 11 to 12. If you call someone else a heretic, you're saying that you're a god. You're someone who's going to destroy your children and your country. James chapter 4, verse 11 to 12. If you curse others, three and four generations, that's fine. Romans chapter 1, verse 32. You will receive the death penalty. Even if you curse others, you receive the death penalty. What, you call that love? You call that a church? That it's a church of love? These demons, these fakes that talk about love, and yet they have they make denominations. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. If you have received the Holy Spirit, you become one. There are no denominations. So how can you make a denomination and say that's love? So if you make a denomination, Jude chapter 1, verse 19, God will not give the Holy Spirit. There is no love. So other than Christ, is there any, any other gospel? No. So how can they say, oh, yes, we're witnessing the gospel? Why are we deceived and why aren't we repenting that we were deceived? Let's love God. To put on that calling according to his purpose is love. So as much as you repent, you love. So if you repent properly, there is no past. You know what my wife says? She says, Pastor, you don't even know the saints' names. You know, if I go inside of Christ, I don't know. If you go inside of Christ and you become new, you know, if this goes into the furnace and it becomes into a cup, is, is it going to remember that it used to be a dish? No. But you know all your past. It's all, all those hurts are recorded in, on your heart and you've memorized all those experiences in your head. How can that be love? And that's why you can't take the blessings in front of you. And that's why you're crazy about money. You know, how good is God? So what if he forgets about money? Well, those people that cheated will bring that money to you. So you don't have to worry. You know, if God forgets, is it for your disadvantage? No, there is no disadvantage. Everything works for good. So there is no disadvantage loving God. This is God's love. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Let's read it again. So being called according to his purpose. So just because you're a pastor or an elder, that's not how you go to heaven. Just because you're a theologian, that doesn't mean you know. You have to go inside of Christ and become a new man. You have to be called according to his purpose. You have to have his love. But you know, you're not, you haven't even been called. Being called is the mystery of God, four-step repentance. If you haven't even done this mystery of God, how can that be the gospel? How can you have God's love? It's as much as you do this that you receive love. It's as much as you repent that you receive. 
So those who don't repent, they don't have love. But demons, they like places without love. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 19. Evil, they do not depart from evil. You know, your friend, you see someone who who is filled with evil and is of the flesh. You preach to them, they won't come. Even your parents, they keep listening to demon talk. And so when they're ruined, you know, if the children so sometimes God will even kill the children first so if you want to love God what is it that you have to do there's nothing but four step repentance that is being called according to his purpose so why do you say that just coming to church that you've been called according to his purpose no if you don't do four step repentance it's not so if you love God, he will give to you. Why is it that you don't love? It says he will fill your treasuries. Why can't you receive this? And instead you're crazy about money. And then you talk about love. Outside of Christ, there is no love. So how can that be love? You say, oh, that church has so much love. Why are you lying and being deceived by lies? As much as you do false debt repentance, you love even though you think that you repent more than anyone else how much have you loved your na your spouse how much have you loved your neighbor you know I've experienced it love disappears moment by moment because your ancestors sins come down to you and you become a dog pig Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 we experience this why is it that I don't do well because I don't have love love is forced at repentance now that we've realized the word, may we only love, may we only do forced repentance to the point where what I've just done, I can't remember, to become a new creation, a blessed man. So if you go inside of Christ, you don't forget, uh, you forget, you don't even know what season you're living in. But you as a demon, you memorize all these things and then you say that you're inside of Christ. So, you know, that's why you can't ever forget what you fought with your spouse about. That's not a new start. You've just passed disasters and curses to your children. Let's have a new start. Inside of Christ, to be forgiven of your sins, that is the love of God. That's a new start. You have to go inside of there. That's where God is. Jesus is. That's where you receive the Holy Spirit. So outside of Christ, there is no gospel. It is curses. Let's only go the blessed way the way to receive love by only doing first day repentance let's save ourselves and our children may we all receive these blessings and do well what's the point of coming in and being a pastor and going to hell you know or being an elder and going to hell we have to believe correctly we have to receive God's love, forgiveness of sins. That is someone who is called according to his purpose. If we have a new start, then we can't remember our past. So how can we not forgive our enemies? How can we say that we're tormented? It's your past memories that torment you. Inside of Christ, it's a new start. By forced at repentance, it's a new start. It's a new start by God's love. It's a new start where we and our children receive blessings. Let's call upon the Lord three times. Anything that we remember, it's all sin. Let's only repent. Lord. 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 May we completely repent. May we be clothed by his calling according to his purpose and to receive all the blessings that are being prepared in front of us. And may we live with abundance and give profit to others.